Hey guys, you know what we need to do? When the Lord says, hey, take, uh, take the lead and deliver, we need to tear down any false altars that have gotten themselves in, in our hearts or that have gotten themselves in our homes. There are three things that a man deals with. It's what the Lord in Deuteronomy chapter 17 told the people, warned the people about a king. He said, when you have a king, you watch out that he does not multiply silver and gold to himself, that he doesn't multiply wives to himself, that he doesn't multiply horses to himself and big up, build up a big infantry and a big army. God says, be weary of three things, money, sex, and power. Those are the things that take down leaders, money, sex, and power. You look at any leader and you see that they get fouled up when they get fouled up. If they get fouled up, it's because of money, it's because of sex, it's because of power. And so guys, we need to tear those things out of our lives and tear down those altars that can so easily erect where we worship the almighty dollar, where we worship on the altar of sexual immorality, where we worship power and rising above and getting ahead and being this guy that has this big office and this big house and all this stuff and this this, this position where all these people are under him and you look at that and you get it out of whack and that becomes the priority rather than the Lord being the priority, you need to tear that down. You want to, tell me, you want to know what is one of the biggest strongholds that guys face today? Pornography. Pornography. It's destroying marriages. It's destroying families. It's destroying men. And that stuff has hooks and it gets into your heart and it can pull you and it can be so strong and that altar needs to be torn down. And we can't do it by ourselves. We need other men to come and to help us and to pray for us and hold us accountable. And God says, you tear down those false idols in your heart and in your home. Don't let those things be in your home. Take the lead. Don't let your wife lead. Wives, if you're wearing the pants in your home, take them off and put on a dress. You need to let your husband be the leader. And husbands, you lead. You lead your family. That's God's plan and that's God's call in the home. 